is the side of W, and today we are going to be discussing that something that's sort of redstone related, but in reality, it's a much more important thing. So, you probably know that a lot of the same concepts are used in redstone computers as are in the computer that you're watching this on, for instance. And uh, the reason for that is that both redstone and real electronics have a lot of things in common. However, there are some key differences that you always have to keep in mind. So, let's just start off with the most basic one. And that is that there is no charge in redstone. So, if I was to flip this lever right here, as you can see, all of these lamps will instantly light up. But notice how it can't actually expand outwards beyond here. And the reason for that is that, unlike uh, real charge, which would actually, if I was to just uh, apply a brief red, uh, negative charge and have all the electrons move throughout the atoms expanding outwards, then it would actually uh, disperse it evenly, unless I continued to set to apply a negative charge to here. However, with Minecraft, you have this sort of pulse-based thing. And that is the big difference between Minecraft and real electronics, is that in Minecraft, stuff's based off of, of pulse, and uh, uh, real electronics is based off of a current. Interesting, the difference also applies to water, and that is interesting because uh, if you know anything about uh, real electronics, then you'll know that water is actually a very, very good simulation of uh, what real electronics can be like. Once again, on the subject of how real electronics has circuits, but Minecraft doesn't, if you look at this right here, there simply is no negative terminal. There is only a positive one or, well, one could say a negative one, but it doesn't really matter. And that's another difference there. There is no positive and negative. The next big thing is that voltage is inconsistent across the circuit. In addition to this, there is no such thing as resistance. In addition to this, you have to add a new component that does not exist in real electronics every certain distance because the voltage will otherwise run out. Uh, and this is the only source of delay, otherwise every wire would simply be instant. In addition to this, this new component can only go in one direction, and is thus a diode. And this means that there simply is no such thing as an alternating or a direct current, because no matter what, only this lever is going to be able to affect the output of this repeater, and this lever can't do anything to it. And since voltage is inconsistent, and ohms don't exist, there is no such thing as current. Likewise, since there is no current, you actually have the inverter being the basis of all redstone logic rather than the transistor, like in real electronics. There is no difference between circuits that are in a series together or in parallel. And there is no such thing as semiconductors. But you might be thinking now, what exactly is the point of just saying all this obvious stuff? I mean, Minecraft is just a game, and this is very, very, very true. And Redstone may be a simulation that allows you to use some of the logic that is in within computers, but just saying that it's very different from real computers is stupid, yeah, you might think. But, actually, for people who really, really, really do design computers in Minecraft, the differences are an absolute need-to-know thing. Because if you're going to educate yourself on how to build a computer, then you might as well be looking to educate yourself in that as, like, your degree in college. Because, believe it or not, not too many people actually know how to how a computer works exactly. 
A lot of people may know how to program it, but if you can actually figure out how to build your own computer, I'd say about 90, 95% of all people do not know how that works. So, knowing the differences between something that you may have been able to do, uh, such as building a computer in Minecraft, and something that will actually really, really, really help you, such as building circuitry for a living, it's important to know what exactly the differences are. And that really is what I'm going to have to leave it with. Uh, there's a few more differences that uh, we couldn't really get into, but overall, just keep in mind that you have a positive and negative terminal in real electronics, but you don't in Minecraft. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys around.